go over my process for embellishing my prints. I've got the my refract print here. To this day, I think this is still one of my favorite paintings that I've done. And what I want to do is do you know my limited edition series of embellished prints for this one. I have it going for Fullerian, and now I want to move on to refract. And the reason that I want to make this video is because when I was researching how to embellish prints, I did not find much information out there. So I had to do a lot of trial and error in figuring out what works for me. And I'm sure this is not the only way to embellish prints. There's got to be countless different ways to achieve a similar outcome. But this is what works for me. It may not work for you, but I just wanted to share what I found because I didn't find a lot of information. Oh, first, I am super jealous of those people that can like paint with their hair down or craft with their hair down. I cannot do that. I will always, without fail, get stuff in my hair. It, I'm just special like that. It's just like a sponge. So if you're in your art studio, you can use a paintbrush. Chong! Alright, you guys, so I've got my workspace set up and all my supplies set out. First, I have my glitter, and this is a pack of um, just assorted colors that I got off Amazon. It's a wonderful pack, it has a lot of different colors, and it's just loose glitter in there. And the ones that I have set aside are the colors that I am considering using for this. I'm going to kind of see as I go. Um, these is like a brown blue color. I've got green and gold. I've got teal and white. And this really nice purple color. And then I have this set out. This is a gicle print finish, a matte finish. and. This is called Timeless, and it's supposed to protect your prints. Protect your prints? I found that it works as a great adhesive for the glitter. Um, you can use this all over your print to protect it. Personally, I think it dulls the print, and I wouldn't use it like that. I would only use it for what I'm going to be putting the glitter on. I also have a little dish to pour this into and some paint brushes because I'm going to paint on the finish, the timeless, so that it'll only go where I want it to go. Okay. This I'm going to take the tiniest bit on my little brush and I'm going to start in her eye. I'm just going to kind of cover the whole eye. This dries pretty clear so it doesn't hurt. being careful to paint the adhesive around her pupil and around the highlights in her eye because I want those to stay as they are. Okay, so those are ready to go. Maybe I can zoom on in here. There we go. I'm going to start with just like the tiniest bit of this gold and I want it on the bottom side of her eye. And I have it just, I dipped my finger in and I'm just kind of gently dropping it on the underside of her eye. I want it to be pretty even. And it's okay that it's not all falling right on the eye. The adhesive is only painted on her eye. So the rest will just kind of fall right off. And the other color I want to use is the kind of greenish color for her eye. So what you can do, you can also use a brush. And I've enjoyed using this as well. I'm just kind of tapping it. happening here there's glitter literally all over her eyes 
So when I'm done, and I like the amount of glitter I have on there, I can just kind of tap it like this. And the parts that hold are just in her eye. And honestly, I think I need to add a little more. Yes. Yes. Okay. Woo, that looks so good. 